One of the first things to becoming a good team and a good teammate is to bond both on and off the ice. Player development coach Paul Dennis has been instrumental in teaching the young prospects that exact thing. And it starts with a Latin phrase, a pluibus unum, meaning from many to one. And it's something Dennis hopes they continue to learn and live by. At the end of all this, we want them to become just more aware of what hockey is all about at the professional level. So we really call this Hockey 101. And if they want to play for the Toronto Maple Leafs and play this great game of ours for a living, they've got a long way to go. And we want them to, to take that back with them. And they know that what they have to do, they have to work really hard. Um, their focus has to be coming on hockey player and becoming the best they can be as a hockey player. And Some people put the cart before the horse. Where they think, well, what do I have to do to become a Toronto Maple Leaf? To be a Maple Leaf, you've got to be a hockey player first. So that's the message that we're trying to impart upon them. And we, we began with a really unique message, and that was uh, the Latin phrase, e pluribus unum, which means from many come one. And these players have grown close together. They've integrated themselves amongst the group well and they have a better understanding collectively and through building trust with each other of what it's going to take and uh, we're happy about that and we'll just follow and see how they make out. We're celebrating the 10th anniversary of this prospects camp. How have you seen it evolve over the years? It's changed quite a bit Amanda. Uh, at times in Matt Stajan actually reminded me of this just yesterday but when he came to the camp we only had eight players at it so it's evolved into bringing back recent draft picks combined with this year's 2008 selection up to 24 and then when the numbers increase like that, we change the program and change the variety. But th what's always been constant is that we've tried to get them to understand what the importance of the camp is. And that's building this foundation for them to re reach their goals of becoming a professional hockey player with this organization. And as a result of that, we're on the ice, as you know, each and every day. And in the afternoons, we have the seminars on the psychology of performance, nutrition, the business of sport. Uh, lifestyle habits and media awareness so all those aspects of the are of, of development go into uh, affecting their team play so that's why we do it this way They're a great group of guys uh, you learn a lot from everyone here um, just little things you know see a bunch of guys doing things that you got to improve on skating puck handling everything what out of the seminars and the on ice sessions did you learn the most uh, just to be a good player all around, not physically, just mentally. You gotta, you know, be ready all the time, thinking about what you're gonna do, and just stay positive. You had some AHL experience playing with the Marlies in uh, this past season. What did that help you at all coming into this camp? Oh, absolutely. I mean, those Marlies guys—they were awesome, uh, great guys. I mean, you learn stuff from them. You come here, you try to pass it on to new guys coming along. It just uh, mixes it in well. Who is your biggest influence? Do you say growing up? Gary Roberts. He's just. Uh, Great guy all around, physical. You hear about him all the time in the seminars. Uh, just a great, positive guy. You've had a chance to skate in front of Cliff Fletcher and Ron Wilson. What do you hope will come from that? I mean, having those guys up there, I mean, a little pressure on all of us. But, uh, you know, you just got to play your game, and uh, hopefully everything works out for the best. Don here at Prospects Camp. Anyone in particular you're here to see? Well, I'm here to see my buddy uh, Danny Rudicelli, That He's here. He's with the Mississauga Ice Dogs. He was with me for two years, and they were there when he won the Eastern Championship uh, for the OHL. So I'm hoping, and he can fly out there. He's got a big heart, Luke Shen and Gwinnett, a few other guys, but Danny Rudicelli's my, uh, my guy. I'm watching. Dan, you have a fan in Don Cherry. Talk about your relationship with him. Uh, Don and I go back a few years. He was actually uh, my first junior coach in Mississauga, so, um, I mean, it's a tremendous feeling to have a guy like that behind you. Uh, he's obviously a great hockey mind and extremely well respected, so it's uh, it's definitely a good feeling. What's the best experience that you've had here at camp? Uh, I get number one, just getting the, uh, you know, it's all it's top-notch guys, so getting yourself up to that speed and, and just getting acclimatized to, to that style of play. Talk a little bit about your background and where you come from. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I played junior in the OHL, so I was there for a couple years and uh, decided to finish up my degree, so I went out east to St. Mary's and uh, had a great four years there, and now I'm looking forward to continuing my hockey career. How would you describe your style of play? Um, just a, a lot of work ethic. Uh, I try to try to lead by example, um, and uh, just never quit out there. Who was your biggest influence uh, growing up? Growing up, uh, I, there's so many. I mean, I've always tried to take a little bit from every coach and and uh, the great players I play played with, like guys like Patrick O'Sullivan and and uh, 
learning how to how to shoot and, and thinking the way they do. But um, really, I, I can't think of one. Just trying to take take a little bit from a lot of people. Oh, I remember when I was uh, a rookie. When I was 16, I went to rookie camp. Very important. You're so nervous, and I mean, if you don't look good, they're not going to invite you back. That's it. You know, you're against your peers here and everything. So you have to look good. It's, you can't look bad. It's 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 uh, pressure like you can't believe. What would you pass on to maybe kids who want to be in a Leaf uniform or any NHL uniform? Just never give up. Um, I mean, I uh, I think for quite a few years I've always sort of been the been, been the underdog, but it's um, it's uh, yeah. I mean, be, be true to yourself. Never give up, and good things will come. During camp, we've seen 24 of the Leafs' brightest prospects. They still have a lot to learn and a lot to prove, but we're able to showcase their talents to some of the Leafs' brass and even people like Don Cherry. They now head their separate ways with hopes of one day coming back together and reuniting in the NHL. For continuing coverage of your Toronto Maple Leafs, watch Leafs TV and log on to MapleLeafs.com.